Hello guys, my name is Willie. I work down at ATVTracks.net. Uh, we are here to talk about um, transfer kits for used tracks. Uh, I'm going to break down the specific categories for them and how the, the, they break down uh, and uh, what you might receive uh, in the kits. First thing you need to do when you're looking at a set of used tracks is you need to figure out if it came off an ATV or if it came off a UTV. They, they won't work if they came off a UTV and you're trying to put them on an ATV and vice versa. Okay, so basically CAMSO breaks their program down to suspension types, uh, rigid and independent. Uh, that's going to dictate more what parts you're going to get and uh, uh, base your prices off. So I'm going to break these kits down here a little bit for you. Uh, there's an independent to independent, there's rigid to rigid, independent to rigid, and uh, rigid to independent. 90% uh, of machines out there are going to be independent to independent. An independent to independent transfer kit is going to come with uh, whatever you need it to come with. Um, whether if it came off of a uh, Pioneer 1000 and you're putting it on a Ranger, um, or if it came off a Yamaha Viking and you're trying to put it on the Ranger, they're only going to send you the parts that you need. For example, uh, uh, if you found a set of tracks that came off of a 2016 Honda Pioneer 1000 and you're trying to put them on a 2020 um, Polaris Ranger 1000, uh, that kit's going to consist of uh, hubs, dry sprockets, front plates, rear plates, and lug nuts. So the only difference is that's going to happen inside the rigid to rigid is going to be um, you're going to get new anti-rotation arms in the rear and plus whatever other parts you need. And then in an independent to rigid transfer kit, you're gonna get the brackets that you need uh, that hold the anti-rotation arms and uh, the anti rear anti-rotation arms the same as well. Uh, and then lastly, the uh, rigid to independent, you're also going to uh, get new rear anti-rotation arms plus the bracketry that uh, um, they need to bolt to the track frame itself. To sum this up, uh, Prices is gonna, uh, going to vary uh, depending off what it's coming off of and what it's going on to. Okay, so when you guys phone in, I will need to know what the tracks are coming off of, what, what the tracks are going on to. I'll also need to know the serial number off the tracks. If I don't have that information, I can still help you. Uh, it's just I'm going to be selling you the parts individually at retail price, and you won't get them in at that transfer kit. Once again, guys, my name's Willie. Uh, I work down here at ATVTracks.net. Phone number is 866-243-8359. Uh, if I didn't make something clear in this video, please call us, email us, comment below. Uh, if you guys see some of one of our old videos and you'd like to, us to redo it, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you guys want some content on something new, let us know. Um, we're, um, we're up for anything, so thank you.